So uh, usually I give kind of uh, you know technical overviews and so on. But what I thought I'd do today is talk more about trends, right? So I'll you know nah, in this, in the slides I won't go kind of very deep on a specific algorithm, but more talk about the outer loop, like what's happening in the you know, what kind of thinking is going on around them, what kind of rate of progress we are having, what new problems are being unlocked because of that. And whenever I try to do that, I always go back and try to remember, you know, I joined Google in 2005, and this is what it looked like back then. And, you know, the favorite thing we used to say at that time was, hey, Google's supposed to you know, organize all of the world's information, and hey, this is all opaque. It should be in images, in videos, and we should do something about that. But if you honestly ask me, like at that time, if I tried to predict it where we would be in 2015, right? Uh, this is Google in 2015. Sure, we look at uh, all the web pages, we look at the images, we actually look inside the videos on YouTube through algorithms, we're able to look at your personal photos that come with almost or no metadata and do a pretty go good job at organizing them. Speech interfaces went from being a potential to now something that we just take it for granted, right? Self-driving cars are around the corner. So it just humbles me to think about uh, how hard it is to predict a 10-year cycle, right? And, you know, it's not all uniform rate of progress. There are uh, spikes in between, you know, visually say that every five years you expect some spike in our thinking process, and that's certainly been the case here. So, uh, at a high level, I want to start with the message that uh, is uh, probably you know, obvious to the audience, but still very, very uh, uh, key, is that this stuff has really crossed the thresholds of usefulness. 